So remember how we kept saying DJI would probably trim the battery on the Avata 360 just to keep the weight under control? Yeah, turns out that theory didn't age well. The FCC listing for this thing confirmed the complete opposite, and honestly, it's kind of hilarious how wrong we were. The filing finally popped up, and it straight up names the drone as Avada 360, so there's no more guessing there. But the real surprise is the battery info tucked inside that document. Instead of shrinking the pack, DJI went bigger, like noticeably bigger. The Avata 2 was sitting at around 31.7 watt hours, which is already solid for something in that form factor, but the Avata 360, the FCC documents show roughly 38.6 watt hours. That's a chunky bump. It's the kind of upgrade you don't accidentally slip into a filing unless you're confident the drone needs it and can actually carry it. And here's why this matters. The moment we heard 360, everyone assumed the same thing. Extra lenses, extra processing, extra payload. So DJI would have to shave weight somewhere and the battery seemed like the obvious target. But uh, nope, they went the other direction. That tells you two things. The 360 camera system probably draws more power than a typical FPV style setup, and DJI clearly doesn't want flight time to tank just because they're adding a whole new imaging system. So now instead of a lightweight FPV compromise, we're looking at something that feels like a proper 360 capable machine, one that actually plans to stay in the air long enough to matter. Now on the anti-gravity A1 side, we think we know what to expect, but nothing's final. Early hands-on impressions suggest it might push for around 35 to even 40 minutes of flight time if everything goes perfectly. That kind of endurance would give it a real edge in the 360 space, but again, that's pre-production talk. Until that drone actually ships, those numbers are more hope than guarantee. Meanwhile, the Avata 360's battery bump is very real. It's in black and white on the FCC filing. And based on that, DJI seems set to at least match, if not beat, typical 360 drone endurance, especially considering all the extra hardware it's carrying. Now, if the A1 does manage that 35 to 40 minute sweet spot consistently, then yeah, on pure battery life alone, DJI might not win that race. And that's fine, because these two drones aren't really aiming at the same finish line. The A1 is going for long, stable, cinematic 360 shots, while the Avata 360 looks like DJI blending FPV agility with full 360 capture. Different tools, different goals, different worlds, you just can't mash them together into the same category, and honestly that's what makes both of them interesting. Anyway, that's where things stand right now, we'll see how both of them evolve, but for now it's getting fun. Peace.